Good everyone, you're watching Rate Your Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix if the software protection service has stopped working in your Windows machine. Now, the software protection services ensures that you are using a genuine licensed copy of Windows and facilitates the delivery of crucial security updates. However, sometimes you might encounter an error message stating that the software protection has stopped working. Now, there are a couple of steps uh, which you could uh, try to get this issue resolved. Now, I'm going to mention sub some of the key functions of uh, software protection services on the screen. You, may, you might want to have a look at it. Now, the first method is to make sure your software protection services is running in your Windows. Now, to do this, you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on run. In the run window, you may go ahead and type services.msc and click on OK. This should open the Windows Service Manager on your computer. Once you have the services window, on the right hand side, you will have to look for software protection. It would be in alphabetical order. Do a right click on software protection and then click on properties. Make sure the uh, software protection services is running. It is also named as SPPSVC. Make sure the status has been set to running. In case if the status has not been set to running, uh, you may go ahead and click on start, then click on apply and then click on OK. So what we have made sure is that the software protection services is running on the computer. Once it is done, you can also check for the service dependency for software protection. How do you do it? You can do a right click on the software protection and then click on properties. Under properties, click on dependency. Under dependency, these are the dependencies for the software protection. The DCOM service server process launcher and the RPC endpoint mapper. So what we have to make sure is that these dependencies are the status is running for these dependency. So to do this, you can um, drag this window to the right hand side and minimize the services window so that you can ha you have both the windows on a side by side. First thing what we'll do is we will look for DCOM server process launcher. Okay, you can go by alphabetical order. Make sure the status is running in case if the status has been stopped or it is blank. What you can do is you can do a right click and then click on properties. Click on start and make sure uh, these uh, services are in uh, running state. Uh, the next thing is you will have to look for RPC endpoint manager. So look for RPC endpoint manager in the services window. Make the services running. You can do a right click, go to properties. Under properties, make sure the service is running. In case if it is in stop state, you may click on start, then click on apply and then click on OK. Now once it is done, you may go ahead and restart the computer and uh, check if uh, you're getting any error message. Now in spite of restarting the computer and if you still get an error message the next thing uh, what you can do is you can start the software protection services from the task manager make sure it is in the running state now to do this you can do a control shift escape to open the task manager at the same time you can also do a right click on the start button and click on task manager it should open the task manager on your computer under this click on services under services locate for s PP SVC. This is the services for software protection. Click on start. So in case if the service has been a status has been set to stop, uh, click on start and that should run the SPP SVC service on your computer. Once it is done, check if you're still getting this message. In spite of trying all this step and if you're still getting an error message, the next step is to make some modification to the software protection platform services in the registry. So to do this, you will have to do a right click on the start button and click on run. In the run window, go ahead and type reg edit to open the registry editor. In case if you get a user access control prompt, you may click on yes or continue on the screen. Once you have the registry editor, you will have to copy the registry path from the uh, video description and paste it under this section and hit enter. This will take you to the software protection platform in the registry on your computer. Now, I just want to let you know that when you're making uh, efficacy to the registry, make sure you're very careful in making this modification. Just in case if you make incorrect registry entries or change any registry entries in your computer, there are chances that your computer might go to a no boot mode. So uh, make sure you're making the right modification in your registries on your computer. Now, once you're on the software protection platform, you now to make this modification, you will have to do a right click on the software protection platform and then click on permissions. Once you're on the uh, permissions window, 
click on add once you click on add then click on advanced and then click on find now as soon as you click on find now you will see uh, the search results for the list of services for the registries entries the permissions now here uh, you will have to go ahead and look for network services so as soon as you find network services click on ok that will add that particular network service object under this list and then click on ok and once you have the network services listed here make sure you set the controls for full control when you select full control the uh, re read and full control will be enabled click on apply and then click on ok close the registry editor and then try to restart the computer that should and then see if you're still getting this error message now this should ideally fix the problem now in spite of trying all this step and if you're still facing a problem I would suggest you to leave me a comment in the comment section so that I can come up with a possible solution. I hope this video was useful. In case if you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a great day.